I'm still getting ready. I'm almost done, but this is my room. Ooh. <laughs> Let me go put the rest of my face on. I just need to do some. Oh my god, it's way too pink. Ooh. Oh, uh, where's that thing that makes it less pink? This is why I don't do makeup tutorials, guys. Okay, you know what? I don't have time. We have to get dressed. We just gotta go to lunch and then we come back. And so I'll have time to fix my face before the panel. Hopefully. Okay. Hi, I'm in DC. I'm so excited. It's Asian Pacific Heritage Month, and we have a really great panel today to talk about representation in Hollywood, Asian Americans in the business, and all of that good stuff. So I'm so excited. Can you tell? Anyways, we're here for less than 24 hours, so let's get going and let's go eat lunch. Oh my god, you aren't joking. It's really hot. Oh, oh my god. Is that your doppelganger? What the? Wait, who is this? We do people inside like <laughs> <laughs> The city is so pretty. Yeah, all these buildings. Hello, how was lunch? Good. Lunch was good, delicious. Um, gonna head back to the hotel and change into a suit. Oh I'm gonna my be God. melting. The one time I think I should have worn a dress because it's so hot. <laughs> I don't know. What? the heck is that? I'm just replaying what I eat for lunch. Oh my god, how are you so small after you eat seven layer cheese grilled That's cheeses? So um, I didn't finish it. I didn't, I left like a few bites. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. There's literally one full length mirror but it's behind the couch. Like, what, what am I gonna do with this? I'm ready in my adult wear, in my suit. <laughs> Ready to go be professional. What is this piece from? Oh, do you like my suit? What do they do on the red carpet and stuff? They're like, oh, like, what are you wearing? I'm wearing Styland. 360 cam, 360 cam. Oh. Here we go. I'm wearing like six inch heels. My goal oh. for today is to not fall. Of course, per the usual. Oh, look at that. Okay, what do I capture? Oh, I know, the red dress emoji. It's basically this. I'm basically this girl. Bam. Oh my gosh. Bam. You're the salsa dancing woman. That's oh my me. god, that's perfect. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Mm -hmm. What about this side? Anything pretty here? Like this? <laughs> I'm dying, it's so hot. You guys, it's like 95 degrees. I'm wearing a pantsuit. My hair is glued to my lip gloss. I'm melting, my makeup is melting. And Glam. my curls are all gone. What do I do? What do I do? First world, world problem. Girl problem. <laughs> Stop complaining, one. Cause we are in DC. Yay! Look, there's me. Oh look, that person looks show. really familiar. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I started YouTube because back around 2008, I auditioned for a short film that was being produced by Ryan Higa. His channel is uh, very successful online. After working with them, we did a short film, maybe 20 minute long, that got about 30 million views. I think that was a good example of showing that there are people out there that want to see Asian faces as leads. If it's TV, I'd love to do a modern day like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but be me. And I don't think it should be that she's an Asian girl. I think it should just be normalized. I just want to be like James Bond, but I want to be the girl version. I just want to be badass, you know? I want to be the one that's saving the day. I want to be the hero. <laughs> Asians are traditionally known as the silent minority, and we have to break that image. What social media is allowing us to do, though, is break it from behind the wall of the internet. You know, when whitewashing is happening now, you're seeing much more outrage from the Asian population than there ever has been about issues because now people are feeling empowered to speak. Use your voice, use your actions, and use your money to, to stop things like this from happening. I think these days, being Asian American, one of the biggest struggles is, yes, there's a lot of projects that China is funding, and China is amazing, they're huge, they're powerful, they have a lot of money. I think that China has so much power to give Asian American actors a platform, but I think it's really disappointing to see a movie like The Great Wall having an opportunity, a great opportunity to make uh, an Asian hero and, and 
not. You know, Hollywood doesn't care whether you're black, white, purple, or yellow. They just care about one color, and that's green. I used to, I, I believe that. At the same time, this whole thing with whitewashing contradicts all of that. Like with the announcement of this film called Niihau, oh, which is yeah. uh, a biopic of a, a Polynesian, a, a Hawaiian, a person of Hawaiian descent. You know, starring a white person. A starring a white person, which was recently just announced. And you, one would think that if you're just crunching the numbers, that this wouldn't continue to happen. Yet the problem is so insidious that it does. Asian Americans are the only race that is subjected to nationalistic specificity when it mm. when it comes to casting. You never hear of uh, a, a show uh, that features an African-American and ask where they're from in Africa. You never hear of that with a Latino population either, unless it's language specific. Yet Asian-Americans are constantly uh, cut off from opportunities because we are not the exact ethnicity. And that is wrong. In my opinion, it's flat out wrong. Well, <laughs> What are you excited about moving forward in the work that you're doing and the work that you see others doing? Um, you know, recently I've been doing a lot of these talks as well, and the thing that I'm noticing the most is that a lot of times people are unaware of how they can help. And I've sort of been repeating the whole ratings do matter, so do support shows and actors and musicians that are Asian American, whatever they're on. This is the first year where I've really decided that I don't want to just sit and wait. I also am continuing to do the auditions and do all that, but I'm working on projects that I'm on sort of more of the decision side, working on shows that are created by women, and then focusing a lot on my YouTube channel and creating content to support other Asian American talents and actors and athletes as well, and try to bring the community together in the way that I can. It is a great time to be uh, a minority in America, well, maybe up until November or so. <laughs> um, we have made a lot of progress, and there's a lot to be encouraged by. We have a panel with, with people like us on it. We, we've never had more media distribution outlets like YouTube than we have right now. We've never been empowering people uh, with, with a, a camera and a computer to create their own content the way we do right now. We've never had uh, Korean American or Asian American producers producing for network television the way we do right now. And as bad as the problems are right now, We've never had more Asians on television and on film than we have right now. Absolutely. I want to thank Sang, Arda, and Daniel, and John for joining us. And thank you all for joining us today. Literally, everyone is pretending they didn't see Wait, what everyone saw. Did you get me tripping? <laughs> Nothing oh, happened. Okay. How'd it go today? Everything was great. We all survived. It was a really great panel. So many amazing things that we got to talk about. A lot of really great topics, all about representation, and such a great way to kick off Asian Pacific Heritage Month. Yay! And we're going to get food. My favorite. Bye! Bye. Thank you so much. Touch. Okay, that sounds good. You don't have to slide into my DM either. <laughs> Talking about sliding into DMs, I learned that. Because you do that a lot, right? No. <laughs> I do follow random Asian Americans though and try to support what they're doing. True. So, yep. Oh this my week, god. It's all about support. And today was a success. Awesome. Woo! Alright, let's get you into some comfy shoes. Should I be wearing sneakers yet? Maybe. How long do I have to be dressed up for? <laughs> Ah, oh, hi, we survived the day, it was awesome. You know, it's so great to be able to 
have these healthy discussions about representation and Asian Americans in media and also to hear sort of the political aspect of it as well and so I'm really excited today totally inspired me I hope that yeah people really work together to build this community and just I hope that we can be a part of entertainment, not just as accessories or accent pieces, but really part of the story. That's what I'm trying to do with my channel too, is to share more of my story with you guys and to hopefully build it to a place where I can create my own content that is produced as well. And so, yeah. Anyways, that's this is DC. This is what's been happening. Been doing a lot of panels, got to catch up with Daniel, and so that was awesome. Um, and to also hear his perspective, especially because he's an actor that I respect and our opinions and experiences are different but to hear that we're sort of all on the same page of representation and what diversity means and what all of this means to us is, is great. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys can come to one of these talks one day and I'll be sharing more of this on YouTube as well. So let me know below what you guys want me to chat about if you do want me to share about this kind of stuff with you guys on YouTube because I don't think I've really done that before. Anyways, that's it, I gotta go pack going back to LA in the morning.